This Friday marks one year since Russia invaded Ukraine. 12 months ago, we talked with Alina Shatova, a student at KU whose family remains in Ukraine, and we visited with her again Monday. Over the past year, um, a lot of things really did have changed. On February 24th, 2022, Shatova says her family fled her hometown of Kherson in southern Ukraine. I think it was around 545 a.m. back in back in Ukraine when the first uh, missile strikes um, happened. Um, and honestly, it was just horrific. Adjusting to a new life in a new place has left her family with many questions. Sooner or later, I know that the situation will be better, but um, the main question is when. Natalia Meyer is a local fashion designer and part of a local nonprofit called Stand with Ukraine KC. I was born in Ukraine and I lived in Ukraine for 20 years. She moved here with her family, but still has many friends overseas in the middle of the war. Two days ago, I was talking on Saturday, I was talking to a friend of mine and she owns a nail salon and she'll say, oh, there's the siren now. And I go, are you going to hide? And she's like, every day. Monday, President Biden visited the capital of Ukraine, paying his respects to the fallen soldiers while also trying to keep allies unified, something the Ukrainian people say means a lot. Well, these are high, high hopes for us to make sure that this is over. We just we just want to be done. While there's no clear end in sight, the Ukrainian people are standing strong. They just really do believe uh, that we will prevail and Ukraine will win and everything will be okay. In Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson, KSHB 41 News.